Hello, my name is Jack and welcome to my series of quick tutorials on how to use Code Trigger plugin for Visual Studio. This one's about generating a sample WPF application from a SQL Server Northwind sample database within Visual Studio 2012 using the 2012 version of the Code Trigger plugin. So let's have a quick look at the Northwind sample database that we'll be using today. Here you can see the shape of it. It's got a few tables that uh, it comes with straight out of the box. Um, so we haven't really made any changes to this. Right, so let's go into um, our Visual Studio 2012 instance and get started with using the Code Trigger plugin. So here we are in Visual Studio 2012. Um, we'll open our Code Trigger plugin and start a new project. We'll call it Demo WPF Project. And it's a database to WPF application in the Visual Studio 2012 format. Next, we select our data source, which is a SQL Server database. We'll call it Northwind here. We'll set up the connection string details here. And we'll test that connection, make sure it's working. Great, so let's use the wizard and create ourselves a project. So here Code Trigger looks at the database and comes back with a list of entities that it's found. We'll select a few to give us a flavor of what's going on here. Now we're interested in categories and products. We'll go to the next tab. Code Trigger generates a, a view of the business domain um, objects and entities that we might be interested in. Let's say we're interested in categories, but perhaps also products. Um, now, products has a relationship here, a foreign key relationship with the supplier table. So let's select that as well. Um, it's also got one with the categories table. We've already got that. Um, we'd like any drop down lists showing suppliers to show the contact name of the supplier rather than the supplier ID. We'd also like to see in any drop lists, we would prefer to see the category name rather than the category ID. So let's select some friendly options there. And next we just hit generate code. And so in a grand total of 0 0.35 seconds, that code trigger has generated our complete WPF sample application for us using the options that we provided. It's also given us uh, one copy and paste job to do here. So let's have a look at the project that's been generated for us. So here we see the demo WPF project folder that CodeTrigger has generated for us and in there we have the project files, solution files and the various class files. Let's open up that Visual Studio 2012 project that's been generated for us have a quick look at one of the sample files. There's your categories, bio categories file. That's what it looks like. Um, it's fully functional. Um, now we do have a, a suggestion from Code Trigger here that we should copy and paste this line into our code. So let's do that. It says, add the following line to main window constructor. So let's do exactly that. And that's it. Now let's run our auto-generated application and see how far we get. It's building, build successfully. And there's our WPF application. We can do a search 
on there and we get our list of all our results coming back um, without any further coding we're doing a query we can do a search by category name for all of those categories starting with a B we get one result um, we can take that filter out we get all eight results coming back we can add a new category and let's call it um, sushi save that yes we want to update update complete and now we can also do a search for all categories that begin with S we get two results back seafood and sushi in here we have our product list and in it we have a drop down of the supplier ID but here we can see that because of our choices to use the friendly names we have the list of all the names of the suppliers rather than on friendly IDs so this is what you get in uh, just a few minutes of using the code trigger plugin for Visual Studio 2012. The code's generated in less than a second, um, and you're ready to go.